Whoa, that's the tech news? Are you sure? Oh man, okay. AMD has made fans of the Ryzen lineup's famous socket intercompatibility angry after announcing that upcoming processors built on the Zen 3 architecture will not work with 400 series and older chipset motherboards. No! I know! No! So that'll be the desktop Ryzen 4000 series that are launching later this year. No, Des no! I don't like it, no! Desktop Ryzen 4000 will no doubt come along with a new chipset, probably named X670, but the only existing motherboard chipsets it will work with are X570 and the just announced B550 chipset. Now, understandably, users currently running X470 or B450 motherboards seem to be upset as their plans for upgrading to a Ryzen 4000 series CPU are now not planned so much as they are dreams. What in dreams? It's a rare instance of fan backlash for AMD who has been riding a wave of awesomeness for a few years now. On the bright side, at least the new Ryzen 3 3100 and 3300X are pretty frickin' awesome, as Linus and Anthony pointed out in the LTT review. But AMD still has some time before they launch Ryzen 4000, so maybe they'll just see the light, you know, fix this. And on the other hand, Lisa Sue is a doctor. Maybe we should trust her. Microsoft had a big live stream yesterday where they were supposed to reveal gameplay of upcoming Xbox Series X titles, including Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And we certainly got an eyeful of a ton of new games, but there was decidedly less gameplay than expected. I mean, the Valhalla trailer was even called a gameplay trailer, but there's no, it's not, is it? Graphics are just that good, Ryan. It's not gameplay, it's not. Now, we did see trailers for a bunch of interesting looking exclusives, including the living HR Geiger painting Scorn, the sentient spaceship shooter Chorus, cyberpunky top-down shooter The Ascent, and Dirt 5, a game with cars. And those trailers had some gameplay in it, but they were mostly trailers using some in-game footage. And James could tell you, that's not gameplay. That ain't gameplay. This guy loves gameplay. What do you Don't you? I mean, if I can't see the UI, then I'm buying PlayStation. I'm sorry. <laughs> and if you didn't see the tweets, well, we're sorry to say, but LTX 2020 has officially been canceled uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Stupid demic. <laughs> stupid demic. Refunds will be issued to anyone who bought a ticket, and hopefully this is all calmed down next year so we can have LTX 2021. The team is working on having some kind of event this year, so keep your eyes on the LTX blog for upcoming announcements. Obviously, LTX isn't the only event to fall victim to the pandemic. The Tokyo Game Show is the most recent one to announce its cancellation, and it isn't looking too good for Computex either, which was already delayed to September. For now, stay strong, everybody. Stay home. And can we get some frickin' Fs in the chat? Thanks. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Private Internet Access VPN, which lets you mask your IP and encrypt your traffic. PIA offers over 3,300 servers in 30 countries and no bandwidth caps. It has configurable encryption levels and a kill switch to keep you in control. And when combined with private browsing, it can make websites think you're in a different country. You can connect up to five devices at once, whether they be Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, or Linux, and PIA's Mace feature blocks malware and tracking domains. So try it at the link below with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Onward! To the quick bits. Quick bits! Tech site VPN Pro has published research showing that vulnerabilities in VPN services, BetterNet and private VPN could have allowed hackers to hijack software updates. Is this part of the ad? It's not. The two VPNs have since received fixes for the flaws and there's no evidence that they were actually compromised. And I swear this wasn't a planned story with the PIA spot. It just worked out like this, James. Life has co coincidences. The FDA has issued an emergency use authorization to Sherlock Biosciences for their rapid COVID-19 test, which uses CRISPR to genetically detect the virus. CRISPR, if you're not aware, is the molecule that can be used to easily genetically modify organisms. So hopefully this doesn't lead to a super race of incredibly strong pig people, which in my mind is a realistic outcome here. Maybe they'd all have COVID or something. People bear can... pig. People, people bear pig. Singapore is using Boston Dynamics dog-like spot robot to trot around parks and tell people to stay at least one meter apart from each other. But I'm sure if Singaporeans get tired of it, you can just throw a ball past it or something. It's because it's the dog. Go fat, 
China has successfully landed its own spacecraft designed to carry crew to and from orbit after launching it into space on Tuesday. China says they want to build an outpost on the moon by 2030, but if they want to do that, they'll probably have to fight Elon Musk's then 10-year-old cyborg ninja son for Luna real estate. Sounds exciting. Speaking of which, Elon actually explained how to pronounce his new child's name on the Joe Rogan podcast. What? How do you say the name? I mean, it's just X, the letter X. Um, and then the AE is like pronounced Ash. It's apparently <laughs> X Ash A12. Yeah. Straightforward. Which is still weird, but at least you could just shorten it to Ash. Oh. Yeah. I was gonna say 12. <laughs> Sup, 12? Now you know what to call him when you meet him on the astral plane. All right, that's it for this video. Come back on Monday for more tech news. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go try to learn how to speak whatever language Grimes uses in her head. <laughs> Yeah, name your kid something cool. Bob.